we'll see. Okay. Um, okay. So this is just to revise. So we only, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, we only started factorization last week. So we've only had two lessons on it. And we looked at something called a highest common factor. And we looked at something called dots, which is difference of two squares. Okay. Oh, you got an investigation today Ooh, with factorization. Awesome. 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 So I would like you guys to factorize these two questions for me. I'm not going to tell you what you have to do for each. You have to start thinking about what to do. But remember, as we work through factorization, we think about our list. So we always look first, is there a highest common factor that we can take out? And then the second thing we look at is, can I do difference of two squares? Okay. And remember that the D stands for difference of is just of, T stands for two, and the S stands for squares. So you need to think about those and think about which ones you can do. Once you have factorized these, put your answers in the chat for us and we can have a look and see how you're going. And today we're going to try and dive into some a little bit trickier factorization questions with a highest common factor where we're going to involve some brackets and we're going to look at some slightly harder difference of two squares questions if we get there. We'll see. Okay, I'm really, let's have a look. We've got, I'm liking that so far. That's looking great. Keep them coming. Remember our whole goal with factorization is to take something that has many terms and to make it one term. So when we're looking for a highest common factor, at the moment, we've got three terms there. You're trying to find something that is in common with all three of those terms, something that you could divide into all of them. That's your goal if you're looking for a highest common factor. Nice job, guys. Oh, Litabo. Litabo, you can ask your questions, okay? So we can talk, then I can assist you. Kebohile, um, were you able to do the, the factorization investigation? How did it go? Was it easy? Was it hard? Did you manage? Did our lessons help? Oh, good. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look here. I'm just going to look at A to start. I'm looking for something, I've got three terms here, and I'm looking for something that's common in all of those terms. So if I look here, I've got this X's and Y, and I've got X, and I, there isn't anything common. I don't, I have an X here, and I have an X here, but I don't have an X there. I have a Y, and then I don't have a Y in the others. So there isn't a variable that's common. But if I look at my numbers, I've got three, I've got six, and I've got nine. And a number that can go into all three of those numbers is three. So that would be my highest common factor. So I'm going to take out three. That's my highest common factor. And then I'm going to write the step in for those of you who are still struggling. Remember, this step you don't have to show. This is just to help us. We put our first term and we divide it by our highest common factor. And then we put whatever sign is there, we put that sign. We put our second term and we divide it by our highest common factor and a sign. And our third term and we divide it by our highest common factor and we close up that bracket, okay? And then we just simplify that. So three divided by three, I'm just gonna be left with x, y. Six divided by three is two, so I'm gonna have two x, and nine divided by three is three, so I'm gonna have plus three. And that is gonna be what I am left with. Hopefully that question didn't go too badly. Oh, I'm hoping that that's like a good O, like, oh, okay, I see things are like coming together in my head. Okay, so that is looking at A. So A was just the highest common factor situation. Good. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit more time to finish off B, and then we're going to jump into some new questions for today. 
And remember, if you are needing extra help, you just send Yulinda a message. That is what she's here for. She's happy to help. She yes, guys. All the guidance. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> See. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm seeing some nice answers coming through in B. So for B, whenever we factorize, we first say, is there a highest common factor? Now there is nothing that I can divide into four and into 25. There isn't a number. So there isn't a highest common factor. And then we look at the second thing we learned, which is dots. Is there a minus sign? Because that D stands for difference. Yes, there's a minus sign. Are there two terms? One, two. Yes, there are two terms. Are both of our terms squares? Four is a square number. X, is a, X squared is a square number. And 25 is a square number. So yes, they are both square numbers. Okay. So that means I can do difference of two squares. When we do difference of two squares, we always have two brackets. So we've got two sets of brackets. We always have a plus and then we have a minus. That's just how we start. Okay. And then we just fill things in. So our first step here is we find the square root of 4x squared, which would be 2x. And we're going to put that at the front of both brackets. Then we look at the second number. The square root of 25 is 5. So we put our 5 at the back of both brackets and that is where we end. So what we had over here on the left hand side that was a highest common factor question and on the right hand side that was the difference of two squares question. How did these questions go? You can show me with an emoji, you can tell me as like a number out of a number, I don't mind, I just want to get an idea of how you found these two questions. Keep them coming. Awesome. Come on, Halo, how can I help? Hi, ma'am. Hi. I wanted to ask if the question was 4x squared minus 18. So how are we going to do it? Because 18 is not a squared number. No, so if it was 18... So let's say we had 4x squared minus 18. I would first have to take out a highest common factor. So I would do this step over here and I would take out 2 and I'd be left with 2x squared minus 9. And I can't do anything more there because I can't square root 2. So that would be my final answer. Okay, thank you. No problem. Oh, no, Precious. Can you try and talk me through the way your teacher explained it? And maybe I can try and use some of those same words when I go through it. Unati. Yeah, how can I help? Hey, ma'am. Hi. Hi. Ma'am, I wanted to ask with the example that you just did. Since we can't square root the 2x squared... Does that mean that we also can't square root the 9? Yeah, we can square root 9, but because we can't square root the 2x squared, we can't do difference of 2 squares. So that's just oh, going to okay. be my Thank final you. answer. Alvaro is <laughs> trying to sneak, sneak in there with a different name. No, it was the last question. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Cool. All right, let's try and go through some questions today. So the first thing we're going to look at today is we're going to look at if we have a highest common bracket. So although this looks scary, I actually think some of you are going to find this a little bit easier than a highest common factor. So. First things first, when we're factorizing, we're looking at more than one term, right? So over here, I've got one term over here and I've got one term over there. And I'm looking for a highest common factor. So I'm looking for something 
that is common in both of these. Now, if I look at that, what can you all see in those two terms that is the same as each other? What is the same as each other? Okay. In Kateko, what is the same as each other? Hi, ma'am. Huh? Um, ma'am, the brackets are the same. This yes. is y, a, y minus mm, y yeah. minus one in both of the terms. Maybe Good. Can I explain that? Yeah, explain further. That's <coughs> great. So I'm just going to yeah. highlight what you spoke about now. So the yeah. y minus one is the same in both. Okay, so tell us where we would go to from there. So what I was taught is that after that you should write you should rewrite that whole bracket again. Good. And then you're going to do another bracket, which will, inside will be two x plus three p. Excellent! That is a hundred percent right. Well done. Woo, well done, Kateko. Nice. Okay, guys, so the reason why I think you might find this one a little bit easier is that once you have taken out this bracket that is the same in both of them, you can actually kind of just cross them out. So it's as if they don't exist. And then in the second bracket, you just write what you have left over. So you had the 2x that was left over there, and then you have this plus sign, and then you have the 3p that was left over there. And that's, that's your final answer. That's all you have to do. So you're actually taking out a highest common factor, except instead of it being a number or a, a letter, you're taking out a whole bracket. Kawakelo, how can I help? I wanted to ask if, is it really necessary to start with the y minus 1 instead of 2x plus 3p? So technically, they mean the same thing. If you wrote it the other way around, it would mean the same thing. But we like to keep certain conventions in maths. And generally, we always like to take out the common factor first. So it's better for the common factor to be first. But it's technically not wrong if you write it the other way around. OK, thank you. OK. Cool. OK, so we've gone through one. Let's see if you can do the next one by yourselves. So the first few are going to be nice and easy like this. And then obviously I'm going to start throwing some curveballs your way. Yeah, put your answers in the chat. I'm happy to have them. Sorry, Zoom yes. user, can I please get your name? That would be nice. If you can please type in your name at the chat, please. And then you're welcome to give us the answer. Mr. Zoom user or Ms. Zoom user. Oh, Zoom user's gone. Let's have a look. Okay, I'm seeing some great answers coming through. That's awesome. Okay, so we're seeing... <laughs> that <laughs> Alvarez, you could have written at any time. Okay, so if this is one term and this is your other term, we can see that this x plus y is our common bracket. Okay, so we're going to take that out. We're going to take out that x plus y. <laughs> yes, you are a Zoom user. That is what your name says. Okay, we're going to take the x plus y out as our highest common factor, and then we write what we're left with. So we're left with a 5, we're left with a minus, and then we're left with a wt. So it's nice and easy. These ones should feel good so far. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Let me just try and go through here. Can you change the plus to a minus? So we definitely don't want to change the plus to a minus or the minus to a plus. We also don't want to do that. Okay, so Alvarez, if you wrote it as 5 minus wt and then x plus y, it's okay. It's not wrong. It's totally fine. You can just, um, it's just better to write your highest common bracket or your highest common factor first, but it's not necessary. But it, it's, yeah, but these mean the same thing. They're the same as each other. <laughs> okay. All right. 
I'm just going to say before you do this question that there is a trap that I don't want you to fall into. So don't fall into my trap. There is a trap here. There is a trap here. I'm telling you there's a trap. Do not fall into it. Let's see how these go. Oh no, Valinda, why? You definitely can factorize. You definitely can factorize. So I see that I have at least, I have one person who's fallen into my trap so far. I'll take it. One is better than none. Camila, 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 can you tell me how to say your name properly so I don't mess it up moving forward? <laughs> it's Camila. Camila, okay, thank you. Camila. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> um, can you tell me what to do here? Um, I, um, I don't know how I got it, but is it like, wait, can I try and, and at least say the answer? Yeah. Okay. Um, is the answer A and then into brackets, it's Y minus two? You went right into my trap. You walked right into it. <laughs> into it and it is happy because now it has someone in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see Thanks if someone can save time. you from this trap. Yeah, exactly. Let's see if someone can save you from this trap situation. Okay, MK, let's give us a try again. Okay. Um, ma'am, is it Y minus two brackets? Um open brackets, um, negative A brackets. You, you are also in my trap. You've joined Camila in the trap. But now there's two of you, so you've got each other for company. It's better than better than just being alone. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Let's see if we have someone else who can help. Um, okay, here we go. Alvarez, what am I gonna do? <clears throat> okay, ma'am. Um, okay, uh, ma'am. I said uh, y minus two, and then I said a minus one. Yes, uh, well done. You did not fall for my trap. Excellent. Well done, nice Alvarez. job. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Okay, <laughs> nice job. So the thing was with this one, the sneaky thing, which is why the teachers love questions like this, is because people forget about the one. So let's try and figure out exactly where that one came from, just so that you actually know what's going on. I'm going to write it up sort of step by step. So we've got the y minus 2. That was our highest common factor that we've taken out, right? And then I'm just going to try and give myself a little bit more space over here. And then remember how we were writing it earlier. We wrote our term and we divided it by the highest common factor, okay? And we divided it by the highest common factor. And so if you write it out like this, which is where we just learned how to write out highest common factors in the beginning, you'll see that that cancels with that. And so you're just left with the A. And then over here, this cancels with this, but anything divided by itself is one. And so we have to have the minus one. A little tip to yourselves is if we've got two terms over here, so if we have two terms up there, we will have two terms in our brackets. We will always have two terms at the end. So if you have a look, let's just go up to one of these ones. Up here, we had one, two, three terms. And so we're going to have one, two, three terms in our brackets. You can use that as a way to sort of make sure you know what is potting. Okay. Um, <laughs> Valinda, where are you getting lost, sweetheart? With which step? Yeah, no, guys, you must definitely use what makes you feel comfortable. You just, you can jump straight there. You don't need to do this step over here at all. You just need to remember that if you're dividing by itself, you have to have that one over there. That's just, it's an important one. 
Okay, Vlenda, Vlenda and Keenan, I'm going to pass you on to you, Linda. Please, please, please send them, um, send her a direct message so that she can give you some like full guidance and yes, help you guys. get up to where you yes, need to get guys. to. Okay. I've already sent you a direct message. Please do reply. There you I'll go. Just got to reply. Shame you've uh, kept her waiting. That's so <laughs> mean. Okay, let's have a look at this one. I'm going to tell you again that there is a trap. There is a different kind of trap, but there is a trap here as well. It's just a different trap. Because if it's the same trap, then it's just boring. <laughs> I'll be very curious to see if we can get the right answer here. Tiana, are you feeling brave? Yes. Okay. I'm not because I, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I think the answer is bracket x minus 1 and then bracket and bracket again and you say 2x minus x to the power of 2. That's a great first step, but that's not my final answer. Or must we like fixture yo that picture guys do the do the binomial stuff no if you do the binomials we'll take you back to the beginning okay so um i think i i don't think anything i don't know <laughs> i okay, don't know. let's 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 have a look in the chat and see if anyone's gotten to where i'm wanting to get to yet okay no one has come up with the right answer in the chat just yet let's see let me start going through some of these hands in oh, no, one hand's gone. Okay. Um, Amber, do you think you can tell me? Um, I'm not too sure, but I can give it a try. Okay. Um, with the, um, do you subtract 2x from, you don't? Oh, we can't subtract okay. them because they're not like terms. They're unlike terms. Like terms, yeah. okay. But it was a good thought. I like it. Okay. Thoughts are always useful. Let's let's see if someone else can help. Fatu, do you think you can help? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay. So is it going to be um bracket x minus one close bracket two x minus x close um another bracket x plus x? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But I liked it. I liked it. I'm seeing some That's answers coming time. through here. I like all Whoa. the try. Half of the effort of maths is just putting in the effort to try. So I like it. Keep them, keep them coming. Let's see. Fatima, let's see. Can you help us? Um, would it be open bracket x minus one, then another open bracket x plus or x, and then x minus x? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I might just take you guys out of your misery here. Let me just have a look. Okay. Oh, oh, oh I see. Okay. Unati, do you think you can help us? Ma'am. Ma'am, I wanted to ask, don't you take out the common variable? Yes, where? Where are we taking out the common variable? Ma'am, from the um, the second bracket. Yes, and so what are we going to take out? Ma'am, I'm going to take out x squared. Oh, so close, Anati. You are so close. Oh, I'm not right, but you're so close. The, the x. The x. We're going to take out the x. Exactly. We are going to take out. Over here, we still have a highest common factor, guys. We've got an Ooh. x chilling in there. Well done, Unati. I'm so proud of you. So we're going to take out an x out of that bracket. I'm going to take that x out, and I'm going to be left with 2 minus x, and then I'm just going to rewrite this bracket over here, x minus 1. And we're done. Donezo. How great is that? Okay. The other thing we could do here is when you're looking at them right in the beginning, 
you could see that we have an X there and we have an X there. So you can actually take that X out right in the beginning if you want to, but you don't have to. You can do it in two steps like this. And also, if you felt uncomfortable writing it the way we wrote it there, if your first step looked like this, okay, so everyone should be able to get to that step. And then over here, you saw that you had a highest common factor. You can still write this X minus one, and then you can take out your highest common factor of x and write 2 minus x. And you can write it in that order. It's totally fine. It doesn't have to be at the front. It doesn't have to look fancy. Just like this is great. Okay. Let's try to deal with some of these questions. Um, Inkateko, how can I help? Okay, ma'am. Well, I'm confused, me. So okay. I got the whole thing right, me. And then when it Heads to the 2x minus x squared. What I did, I separated the two, like the bracket. I said, well, my final answer, what I did was x minus, like open bracket, x minus one, close bracket, and open another bracket, 2x minus x, and then close bracket, and then open another bracket, which is like 2x minus x. I think you've given it a few more things than it than it has. So let's try let's try let's try work through. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some time on this question, guys, because I can see there's a little bit of confusion. And also, I'm gonna give you another one like it, so don't panic. Okay, so let's look at it right in the beginning. Everyone, I'm hoping, is comfortable at the first step with taking out our highest common bracket, right? So I'm hoping at this point here, where we have our x minus one. We take that out as our highest common bracket, and then we're left with 2x minus x squared. Can everyone tell me if we are happy or sad with that step, with emojis? Tell me where we are with that step. Okay. Fatu, why? So all we're doing is we're taking out, all we've done in this step is we took out our highest common bracket. That's all we did there. Okay, and now if you did that in a test, that's just your first mark. So we're, we, we have made progress. We've, we've got one mark so far. Okay, then we have to look at it carefully because remember, like I said in our last lesson, we have to factorize fully. That's what your questions will say. They'll say factorize fully. So basically, if there is something I can factorize, I have to factorize it until I can't factorize it anymore. So if I look at this first bracket, x minus 1, there's nothing I can do. I can't factorize it further. But if I look at the second bracket, I've got 2x minus x squared. Now, if I gave you a question last week, Tuesday, when we learned about highest common factor, if I gave you 2x minus x squared and I asked you to factorize that, you would all be like, okay, cool, that's obviously x2 minus x. All we did was we took out our highest common factor. That's all we do there. And we do that exact same thing here. It's just that it looks different because we have the x minus 1 before it. So we keep our x minus 1 because nothing's happening to it. It is what it is. I'm not going to do anything to that x minus 1. And then in here, I'm going to take out a highest common factor of x. So I'm going to take out a highest common factor of x. And I'm left with 2 minus x. And the reason I can write it in this order, I don't have to have it in any fancy order, is because all of this, <laughs> weird line, all of this is one term. Everything is being multiplied together. So it's exactly the same as if I wrote it like this, or if I wrote it like this. All of those mean the same thing. They mean exactly the same thing. So it doesn't matter how I write it. Okay, Yusuf, how can I help? Good evening, ma'am. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. Never so, bother. So today, I wrote my math investigation at school, okay. and uh, it was okay, I guess. But then, like, this section, like, I was even looking around the class. People didn't understand. People were complaining. So that my teacher said that he'll teach us, he, he, he just collected the papers after everyone struggled at that section. So, because like we, this sub, this particular sub was in the paper, but Goodness, then I okay. think it was, it was a 4x and then it was 
yeah, the, the only difference is it was a 4x, that's all. But can you see how to do it now? Does it make a bit more sense? It does make a bit more sense, ma'am. Thank okay. you. Okay, good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad to have been of some help. Um, Kia, how can I help? Um, hi, madam. Hello. So, um, in our class, we learned it in a different way. Okay. So, after the, the first step, what mm -hmm. we did, we looked for the difference of two square. Which is okay, but now we have to be careful yeah. with that, sweetheart, because in this bracket over here, this isn't difference of two squares. I can't do difference of two squares because I can't square root two x. So my only option here is to do a highest common factor. If that was four minus x squared, then I could do difference of two oh. squares. Oh, I understand now. Okay, but we'll do one where there's a difference of squares with this type of question a bit later. So it will come up. Okay, ma'am. Okay. All right, last one, and then we'll, I'll give you one to try by yourselves. Tiana, how can I help? Ma'am, I have a question. So sure. the same thing factorizing there. Eh? From like our answer, how do you make it like the question again? Like, you would just, down? so you would have to multiply it all out. Basically, you would have to multiply all of those and you'd have to multiply all of these. But in these types of questions, that's not worth your time because this would only be out of two marks and it would be quite a long process to get back to the beginning here. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Sure. Of course, it's confusing, guys. It's your first time doing a question like this. That's normal. You've, you're having normal feelings. Don't, don't feel unvalidated. It's a very normal thing. We're going to try one which is very, very similar. It's just a little bit. So the, the x in the middle comes from taking out the highest common factor of the 2x minus x squared. That's my highest common factor over there. So what we're going to do is... This question is very similar to the one we've just done, okay? I want you to try and follow similar steps. So the first step is take out your highest common bracket. First thing you're going to do is take out your highest common bracket. Second step, you're going to see if you can factorize further, okay? So you're going to look at both brackets, and you're going to see, is there anything that you can factorize further? And you're going to see if you can get an answer for this type of question. And then after this question, I'll give you a brain break with a little bit of a puzzle. Okay. So let's see how this one goes. Give it your best shot. And remember, even if you only get the first step, that's okay. In the beginning, you've got this term and you've got this term. And I'm looking for the bracket that is common amongst both of them. Catello, it's very close, but something's missing. Okay. Fatu, yeah. Okay, ma'am. So um, is it going to be bracket A plus four? Good. Close um, B, open bracket, 3 plus 6B. Okay, so I'm just going to write the, the next step in here first. So I've got 3B plus 6B squared. Oh, yes, ma'am. Right, okay. But now I really like the B that you took out. But is there something more that I could take oh, out? The... It's supposed to be 3B, ma'am. Yeah, there uh, we go. Okay, okay, so your A plus 4 is great. And then what am I going to write after that? 3B. Yeah. And what's going to be in my next bracket? One. Yes. One plus three B. Plus? Three B. Three B. Two B. Sorry. Thank two B, two you. B. Thank you. There <laughs> we go. Well nice done, job. Nice. Well done. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So let's just talk about what we did over there. The first thing we did is we took out our highest common brackets. We took out the A plus four. And then we were left with the second bracket, which had 3b plus 6b squared. And in the second bracket, I saw that we could take out a highest common factor of 3b, which is what we took out. That's the highest common factor we took out. And then we would be left with the 1 plus 
2b because this is 3b divided by 3b which is 1 and 6b squared divided by 3b which is 2b mk how can i help oh ma'am i wanted to answer the question uh, i forgot okay no it's okay okay nice progress i feel like progress happened in this question which is great Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick brain break puzzle and then we'll come back to these. I wanna know what the question mark is. There are a few traps. Yeah, Latawa, of course you can. If you're wanting to, to ask your question out loud, you just need to use the hands up emoji so that I can unmute you. Otherwise, I can find you. I think I, here we go. Should have got a little notification on your side. Okay. Never. Okay. Sorry. Let me. I got distracted. Let me see these answers. Caterpillar is definitely seven. Well, technically, but um, I'll be giving things away. Fifteen. No. Nineteen. No. Thirty-one. No. Nineteen. No. <laughs> Clock is not one. Fifty-four. No. Guys, those of you who have your hands up, it's easier if you put your answers in the chat for me because otherwise um, it's difficult for me to see who put their hands up first. 168, no. 168, ah, Tiana, there we go. Let's see if anyone else gets there. No, 15, not 21, not 45. There we go. We've got a couple of people coming in. It is indeed 25 for those of you brain buffs who got there. A big well done. A big well done to everyone who got to 25. Let's try and break through how it's 25. <laughs> nice job. So here we would see 7 plus 7 plus 7 is going to be 21. But be careful, this caterpillar has a flower. I'm just going to say that. Okay, but this caterpillar also has a flower, so that's 7. And that means that the clocks over here are 6 plus 6 because we're trying to get to 19. So we've got 6, we've got 7, and that's going to give us 13, which means that this is going to be 2. Okay, but here I've got two flowers, so that's going to be 4. Here, my clock was at six o'clock, which is why it was six, but now my clock is at five o'clock. So now it's at five. And my caterpillar doesn't have a hat anymore. So it's going to be seven minus two, which is five. So it's going to be four times five, which is 20, plus five, which is 25. <gasps> Shocked. So a big well done to everyone who got 25. That is awesome. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, let's try to get back into some factorization. <laughs> um, also, sorry, I just saw something about the quiz. Why can't you show calculations? So for the quizzes, the only option is to give it as a multiple choice. So I think the reason is because if you write something differently, it, like so that it's the right answer, but it looks like it's in a different format it gets marked wrong or something i'm not sure but all of the all of the questions in the in the quiz are multiple choice that's why you can't show your work okay cool let's try jump back into some factorization and uh, i feel like this is too easy for you guys that one now um i want something which will be a little bit Nastier. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. This one, I feel like we did this question though. Am I losing my mind? Oh, it's very that, similar. That one we did. That oh, we did we do it. Hey, finished. it's the yes, same. Yes. Okay. I was like, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Okay. This one, 
Um, in this question, there's just there's one little thing, but it's not really a trap. But just think about them. Um, Yusuf, how can I help? Uh, Ma'am, I wanted to ask if you could please re-explain. What? Everything. I can't re-explain the last 43 minutes. So then we will oh, be not there all that. night. I mean, like, like, I'm so confused. Like, with products and factorization, I always get it mixed up. Okay, but the, the, that's quite a big, it's, it's you know, it is tough because in grade nine, it's the first time that you have to do like a reverse operation. So it is tough. But just remember that in the factorization question, they will have to say factorize. And in a product question, they will use the word simplify. So if you see the word simplify, then you know you're going to do multiplication or division. And if you see the word factorize, you're going to actually have to factorize it into one, two. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Um, okay, let me just try and make my way down here. Unati, yeah. Ma'am, can I answer? Sure. So, ma'am, um, um, since the two brackets are not the same, you have to change the sign that is before the two. Oh, Unati, you've just walked straight into my trap. Ah. <gasps> yeah, you did. You walked right into it. You walked into my trap. Okay. <laughs> Let's, uh, uh, Tiana. Um, ma'am, is it is it B? Okay, bracket, open bracket B plus one, close bracket, and then open bracket again A plus two. That is absolutely right. Now, why is that right? And why yeah. is what Unati okay. said my trap? Okay, because, because yeah, tell me. Uh, because. Um, they, they sell the same, they just put in different, different Good, ways. exactly, Tiana, well done. B plus one is exactly the same as one plus B. They mean the same thing. Think of it if, if I had numbers. If I had one plus two, it's exactly the same as if I had two plus one. It doesn't matter what order it is when we're adding things together. So because they are the same as each other, even though they're not written in the exact same order, we are allowed to take it out as a highest common bracket. So we're going to take out that guy and we're going to take out that guy as our highest common bracket. Okay. Um, that's a payload. How can I help? Yeah, guys, it's all about the traps. But remember, this is why we have the traps, because if we go through the traps together, then you won't fall for the traps in class. Okay, so that leads us on to the switcheroo. So now the switcheroo is what Unati was trying to talk us through. Um, yeah, Yolanda, how can I help? Yolanda, I'm unmuting you from my side, so I'm not sure what's happening on your side over there. Hello? Uh, Ma'am, ma I want to ask, how do we see that we need to factorize further? So, okay, so if we had a look at this question over here, we have B plus one and then we have A plus two. There's nothing I can do. So I can't take out a highest common factor. I can't do difference of two squares. And so then I know I have to just stop there. So basically you just look at each bracket and you just say, is there something I can take out? Like there's nothing I can take out with A plus two. It's just what I'm left up with. Okay, ma'am. So it, it does, it's something that will come with time and practice. Okay, so I'm seeing some really good answers coming in here with um, the switcheroo is that we definitely are going to do a switch around. We are going to change the signs. So in a switcheroo situation, it's when we very almost have, so we almost have a common bracket. But the problem is that we have the one bracket is mixed around. So we almost have a common bracket. Okay. Now, why is this one different to the last one where I said that they are the same as each other? What makes this one different to the one where we just took out a B plus one? 
why is this a switcheroo? But for the last one, I said, we can just take it out because it's the same. In Kateko, tell me why. Um, um, because if you look, um, the first bracket, which is X minus one, X is a positive variable, and then minus one is a negative variable. Good, I think, and then yeah. If you go to the other bracket, one is a very uh, number, and then x is a negative. Yeah, that's great. That's exactly what it is. So the thing is, if we have pluses, they're the same as each other. But when we have minuses, they're definitely not the same as each other. So think of it if I had numbers. If I had 3 minus 1, that's going to be 2. But if I had 1 minus 3, that's going to be negative 2. And those are not the same as each other. And so because they aren't the same value as each other, we're not allowed to take it out as a highest common factor. But we are allowed to do a switcheroo. So a switcheroo means, so the important thing with a switcheroo is that always has to be a minus sign when we're doing a switcheroo. Okay, because otherwise it'll be like the question we just did. Switcheroo is we change this sign. So whatever that sign is, we change it. And then we switch around the variables in our second bracket. So I would make one step where I have a x minus one. Now I'm going to do my switcheroo. So I'm going to say minus two x minus one. That was my switcheroo. Okay. And now that I've done my switcheroo, now I can take out my highest common brackets, which is x minus 1. And then what am I left with? I'm left with a minus 2. And that would be my final answer. And that's where we would leave it. So we've just learned about the switcheroo. Unati, how can I help? Ma'am, do you remember last week when you said I could give... Um equation uh, yes uh, but only at the, if it's not what we're doing in class then it needs to happen before the lesson starts oh okay man. okay okay um all right let's see if you guys can try one now so let's try your own switcheroo can you try this one for me i'll keep this on the board so that you can see it and I would like you to give me the answer here. So you know you're going to be doing a switcheroo. This is the almost similar brackets. It's just that the one is the wrong way around. So think about what you're going to do to the sign. What's your first step going to look like? What's your final step going to look like? MK, have you got my answer? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's my first step? Um, it's okay. The first bracket is going to be d minus four, mm -hmm. and then it's going to be the next bracket is going to be c plus three. Excellent. Okay, so the step before that, all we would have done is we would have changed this minus sign to a plus sign, and we would have switched around that second time. But excellent, MK. That's a hundred percent right. Good. Okay. Yes. Nice work, guys. You're doing good. Let's try another one. Hmm. Oh, I like this one. Let's see how this one goes. I'll be so chuffed if someone can get this one 100% right. So this one would be worth three marks, if that helps you. This type of question up here would probably be worth two. Let's see. If someone can get this one 100% right, I'm going to be so excited.
<laughs> it's just in our blood, I don't know. Okay, precious. What um, am I going to do? Um, first, you're going to say, you're going to change um, the positive four into the positive four. Good. So, okay. And then I'm you just going to write that step out for you. Around. Excellent. Okay. What's my next step? The next step, you find the highest common bra um, bracket, which is going Good. to be um, A minus one. Good. Close bracket, then you open bracket, then you're going to say X squared minus four. Beautiful. What's my last step? Ma'am, don't you... Ma'am, the highest common, um, you do your square root, your dots. Here we go. I'm going to do dots. Excellent. So what's that? What is that X squared minus 4 going to become? Ma'am, it's going to be um, X minus 2. And then you're going to say X minus 2 again. X minus 2. Oh, is it going to be a minus? Ma'am, plus 2, sorry. Here we go. Good. Okay, yeah, remember when we do dots, we always have one minus and one plus. Excellent, Precious. I'm so well proud done. of you. That is excellent, excellent work. Nice. Okay, guys, that was a nice, tough question for us to end off on. I'm quite chuffed. Um, those did, did anyone end up getting there all by themselves? Do we have any brave people who landed up getting there? Let's have a look. Let me know if you landed up getting this one 100% right. Nice, Fatima. Nice, Jasmine. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice work. Sure. Okay, guys, the last few questions, I'm going to leave um, I'm gonna leave you to Yolanda so I can pop over to my grade 10s. But I will see you all on Thursday. Um, and Thursday's quiz day. So I'm excited to see you there. I hope you have a lovely week at school. And I will see you all on Thursday. Okay. Oh, Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you to the Jenna. Thank you, Jenny.